ultimately, when we strengthen our emotional intelligence, we are far more capable of being effective leaders and impactful leaders than if we had weak emotional intelligence. So there are some really simple steps that you can take to start strengthening your emotional intelligence so that you can lead your life better, create deeper self-awareness, and that you can be a more effective leader in the workplace or in a team. The first thing that you want to acknowledge and look at on a daily basis is just being aware of your emotions. So taking the time every day to see what emotions you're feeling and analyze how are these emotions affecting how you do business or how you lead. Are they enhancing your leadership abilities or are these emotions hindering your leadership ability? The second thing that you want to look at is identifying the triggers to these emotions. If it's an emotion that's hindering your leadership skills and abilities or hindering your positive outlook on the day, look at how you can manage those triggers in a productive and healthy way. The next thing you want to focus on is emotional shifting. Now, emotional shifting basically means being able to shift your state on command, your emotional state. So if you are angry and you're feeling very tense and frustrated, practicing shifting yourself out of that state into a more productive state on command. And that's the trick to really being a more effective leader is being able to what we call self-regulate your emotions. A leader, a strong and effective leader cannot be volatile in their emotions because all it shows your team is that you have a lack of self-control. Having a professional coach can really help you understand yourself on a deeper level, identify your emotional triggers, as well as teaching you how to shift your emotional state on command. 